Oh my god, can you believe it? A whole year has gone by with so much epicness. <laughs> well, grab your quivering butt cheeks and get ready to clench them, because we're about to blow your freaking minds by answering all the questions that we've been avoiding until now. This is Epic How To! Epic How To. All right, hit me. Oh, okay, how to join a secret society? Well, the very nature of a secret society makes this difficult to answer, doesn't it? Next, how to rob a bank. This is actually one of our most common requests, and we actually totally figured this one out, and then we decided we should never show it to you because we actually figured this one out. <laughs> Sorry, everyone, you're gonna have to earn money the traditional way by selling your kidneys. Two of them. We have three, right? How to get away with murder. No. Just, just no. Um, yeah, we actually get a lot of people asking for this one as well, but it's probably not as exciting as you think. First, our writers do a ton of research as we try to find the most accurate way to accomplish every epic how-to. Then, I stand in front of a green screen, like a soul, and read the script on the teleprompter thingy right in front of us. Next, the footage is edited down and sent to our talented animators. They're also super important. Here's one now, animating away. Thanks, Joe. Hi, I'm Andy. I'm one of the animators on Epic How To. What I do is I use a plugin in part of After Effects called Element 3D. It's amazing. I take most of the buzzwords that Joe says, try to make it as entertaining as possible to watch. But does anybody ever comment on it and say like, hey Andy, great job animating on this episode. No. It takes two seconds. I read all the comments. If only I could give the same attention as Joe's mustache. Which is fake! Tell him, Joe! It takes hours and hours to handcraft every animation and make everything look just right. But to all of us on the outside, it just looks like a bunch of clicking. Add in some music and sound effects and blammo! You've got an epic how-to episode. Don't forget the depression and the self-hate. <laughs> Um, can you be like a little bit more specific? There's kind of a lot of choices out there, homie. Okay, well that's a little bit more specific. This one is pretty easy, just buy a camera and then, you know. Ha! Keep dreaming, tiger. Yeah, guys, that's a different show, and I agree, Man at Arms is pretty awesome, but like, we're pretty cool too, so. Okay, uh, again, with the killing. I get it, but we're not gonna teach you how to kill people, so why don't you go watch the CIA episode that we already did, which, you know, you, you probably kill people. I don't know, you, you, go watch that. Also, I'm not gonna make a sword. Okay, seriously, why do, why do all of our viewers wanna be supervillains? You know, why isn't, why, why isn't anybody asking uh, how to own a cute pet or get smothered in bunnies? We can show you how to get smothered in bunnies, but you're not asking, so your loss. Yeah, if I knew how to do that, I'd be making this show from my own private island. Speaking of... Ha! Well, since you asked, it's actually pretty easy. You just need some of that money we were just talking about. Greece, Canada, Malaysia, and the British Virgin Islands all have islands for sale. Hell, the South Pacific is full of them if you have the money, and you're gonna need a lot. Islands go for millions of dollars, and you could end up paying as much as 500000 per acre for an island in a good location. And that's just for the land. That's not counting the tremendous cost of building your island getaway home. First thing to consider when buying your own island is the infrastructure of the island. Does it have running water, electricity, a good solid anchorage point? If the entire coastline is beach, it's actually really difficult to land without getting stuck. And you don't want to spend all your time pushing your boat or waiting for high tide. Also, you're gonna to wanna to have an island that's big enough to have an extra house for some caretakers to help maintain the property while you're away. Your manservant, Joffrey, has to live somewhere. And as a reminder, owning a private island doesn't make you a supreme ruler of your country. You're still subject to the laws of the country where you bought the island. Also, watch our video, How to Start Your Own Country. Jesus, you guys aren't giving up on this Bond villain thing, are you? All right, fine. Biggest goals here are security and anonymity. And to satisfy both things, you're going to want to build underground. Tunnels with thick concrete walls will keep you secure no matter what might be waiting for you outside. But you're going to want to consider what will be necessary for long-term survival in case you need to stay cut off from the outside world. 
You can certainly stock up on canned goods and duct tape like most doomsday preppers, those weirdos, but you should also consider sustainability. Building a well as part of your complex will ensure you always have access to water and with the right lighting, you can make an indoor farm. Crazy, right? We recommend aquaponics. It combines fish farming with raising plants in water, all in a closed system. Here's how it works. You have a tank with fish and feed them fish food. They poop, because that's what fish do. The poop then flows into the next tank where bacteria breaks it down into beneficial nutrients. Pooprients. These nutrients then travel through pipes to your vegetable garden, where the roots are growing right into the water stream. There, the plants gain a constant supply of water and nutrients, which makes the plants grow faster. The water left over on the other end is now clean and gets filtered back into the tank with the fish, starting the whole process over again. Yay! Obviously, building a bunker and paying a construction crew will take a lot of time and money and will most likely raise some questions for your secret lair. Our suggestion, buy one used. There are hundreds of underground structures, bunkers, even abandoned missile silos available for purchase. And if it's strong enough to house a missile, it's gonna be strong enough to keep 007 out, you fiend. Okay, holy crap, um, this guy asked for a lot. Let's do it. Tax evasion, uh, nope, followed up by how to pay taxes. Trust me, the IRS probably has that covered for you. Just give them your money. How to rule the world, or at least how to make graphene. <laughs> okay, those are two very different things. Oh, okay, uh, how to make a PBJ sandwich. All right, all right, you might be thinking, uh, oh God, I've been making those since I was five. I think I have it covered, Joe, but guess what? You're wrong. Here's a tip. Lay down a thin layer of peanut butter on both pieces of bread. Then build a peanut butter retaining wall around the border of the bottom piece. Fill in the center with jelly, then add the top piece of bread. That way, all the jelly is contained and won't spill out of the bottom when you take a bite. I know, right? Your mind is blown! Hey guys, thanks for watching this year. Uh, we all really appreciate the feedback and the suggestions and hope to make many more episodes for you in the future. So, keep the comments coming and yeah, I love you. I wasn't going to say it. I know we're, you don't think we're at that stage in our relationship yet, and I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but I love you. You don't have to say it now, but you could. No? Okay, I stepped over a line. It's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, I like you a lot. You want to watch Phantom Menace? Hey guys, click here to see other epic feats you can accomplish on your own, and don't forget to subscribe for more great Ami content, because that's what you're supposed to do. Oh yeah, one more thing. Before you go, we'd like to thank Go90 for sponsoring this episode. Click the link below to watch primetime shows, live music and sports, plus the best of the web. Awesome!